Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EUS Market Biz and in this video I am going to share with you the price analysis of some of the top coins or all of the top coins, right? So let's begin. So Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, Stellar, EOS, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero, Tron, and Dash price analysis November 16. Okay. So Bitcoin saw its third worst drop of 2018 on November 14 as it broke down to New Year to date lows. In doing so, it broke through the critical support of $5,900, which had held throughout the year. Prior to the, to the breakdown, Bitcoin had entered a period of low volatility not seen in years. We were expecting the resolution of the tight range in cryptocurrencies to be the upside, hence our bias was on the long side. However, with the fail, the technical picture has weakened. And our assumption was proven wrong. We need to reassess our strategy in the, this new backdrop. So interestingly, not all cryptocurrencies have followed Bitcoin to new year-to-date lows. There are a few that have held out quite well. Ripple has overtaken Ethereum as the second most valuable cryptocurrency in terms of market capitalization. So there are some bright spots even in this mayhem. Bitcoin Cash has completed its fork without any major incident. However, as it is still in its early days, we have skipped analyzing their coin today. After the recent fall, how should traders approach the markets? Is it time to step aside and wait? Or do some cryptocurrencies offer, offer a buying opportunity? Let's study the charts and find out. So, Bitcoin and USD pair. So Bitcoin plunged below the support of $5,900 on November 14 to an intraday low of $5,737.02. The closing of the day was at $5,932, which shows buying near the lows. Nevertheless, the bears continued their selling the next day, plummeting prices further to $5,430 which was just below the support at 5450 Some buying um, was seen again at the lower levels as the digital currency recovered lost ground and closed at 5747 The pullback from the intraday lows in the past two days shows that the lower levels are attracting buying. This point to a retest of the breakdown level of 5,900 in the next four to five days. The performance of the B BTC USD pair at the 5,900 levels will give us a better idea on what to expect. If the bulls easily break out and sustain above 5,900, then this current fail or fall will be a fake out which took out all the weakest, weaker hands on the long side before moving up. On the other hand, if the bears defend the 5,900 to 6,075 levels and the virtual currency turns down from there, it will indicate selling by the long position stuck at higher levels and short initiation by traders who anticipate lower levels in the future. So. What should traders do? A new year to date low shows weakness, hence long positions should not be initiated until a bottom is confirmed. As the RSI is deep in the oversold territory, a short position is also not advisable because a short, sharp pullback can occur at any time. Due to the uncertainty, it is best to sit out and wait for a few days. If price scales 5,900 and sustains above it, we might attempt to go long once again. Any break above 6,832 will be a confirmation that a new uptrend has started. Until then, the digital currency is at risk of turning down again. Analysts 
will mention various lower levels that can be scary. Let's take it one step at a time and act accordingly without being influenced by noise. So XRP USD pair. So Ripple is showing considerable strength as well and is well above its year to date lows. In fact, it did not even fall to its first major support at 0.37 cents in the recent carnage, which shows strength. Currently, the XRP USD pair is facing resistance at the moving averages. If this is crossed, the downtrend line is the next resistance. We believe there will be a strong defense of this zone for the bears. After the downtrend line is crossed, the digital currency might move up to 0.56 cents and above that to um, 0.62 or 63 cents. The flat moving averages and the RSI close to the midpoint suggests a range formation in the near term. On the downside, a break of the uptrend line and 0.37 cents will invite selling that can result in a drop to 25 cents. So Ethereum used to pair. The bulls are trying to keep Ethereum above the year-to-date lows of $167 from September 12 on November 15. The price dipped to a low of 171 cents, a dollars rather, where buying emerged. Any break of $167 will resume the downtrend, plunging the Ethereum USD pair to the lower levels of $136 and $110. The 20-day EMA has started to turn down while the RSI is close to oversold levels, which shows that the bears have a firm grip in the near term. However, if the bulls rebound from the support and sustain above $188, it will increase the probability of a consolidation. First indication of a new uptrend will appear when the digital currency sustains above $100. $249. So Stellar XLM in USD pair. Stellar continues to trade inside the ascending channel. However, its intraday low of uh, 21 cents on November 15 triggered our suggested stop loss at of uh, I mean of of 22 cents. For the past two days, the bulls have bought aggressively on sharp dips, which is pos a positive sign. This shows that the buyers are using lower prices to add to their position. The moving averages are currently flat and the RSI is close to 15 levels, which points to a consolidation in the short term. If this support line of the channel holds, the LXM USD pair is likely to move up to the top of the channel. We shall wait for the new buy setup to form for proposing long positions. So the EUS USD pair, so EUS broke below the support of $4.49 on November 15, but buying a lower level, at lower levels pushed prices back above it. Currently, the bears are again attempting to break below the support and sink prices to the next support zone of $4.17 to $3.87. Okay, so then the, the down sloping 20 day EMA and the RSI in the negative zone shows that the sellers have an upper hand. The down, downtrend line will resume on a decline below $3.87. If the bull succeed in defending the support zone between $4.17 to $3.87, the USUS to pair will extend its stay inside the range. We shall wait for it to stabilize and show signs of a turnaround before turning positive on it. So Litecoin to use the pair. Litecoin made successive new year to date loss lows rather on November 14 and 15 which shows that it is one of the weaker cryptocurrencies. After breaking below the support uh, at $47 on November 14, it followed up with a new low the next day, which was close to our first lower target of $40. Though prices have bounced from the lows, the pullback lacks strength. Even small intraday rallies are met with strong selling pressure. 
If the Litecoin USD pair breaks down of $40, it can slide to the next support at $32. The downtrending moving averages in the RSI and the oversold zone show that the sellers are in command. The first sign of recovery will be when the digital currency climbs back above $50 and sustains it. Until then, every pullback will be sold into. So Cardano USD pair. Cardano broke below the critical support of 0.06 cents on November 15, but bears could not sustain below the lows. The bulls are currently trying to keep prices above 0.06, while the bears are attempting to break below it. If the bears succeed, the Cardano USD pair can slide to 0.04 cents. However, if the bulls succeed, the digital currency will extend its consolidation in the 0.06 to 0.09 cents range. Alright, so let's, uh, so the XMR USD pair or Monero. So Monero bounced off the critical support at $81 on November 15, but higher levels are attracting selling by the bears. A break of, of $81 will resume the downtrend and sink prices towards its lower support at $61.50. If the bulls succeed in holding the $81, a pullback to $100 is probable. If the price rises above $100, the XMR USD pair might extend its stay on the range. We shall wait for the confirm for a confirmation that the short-term bottom is in place before suggesting a trade. So Tron USD pair. The bulls have been attempting to keep Tron above the critical support at 0.02 cents. Any break of this level could result in a fall to 0.02, um, 0.01587681 cents, which is the intraday low of August 14. If the level also breaks, the next support to watch on the downside is 0 0.01095383. Okay, if the 0.0183 level holds, the Tron USD pair can extend its stay inside the large range of 0.0183 to 0.0282 um, cents. We shall wait for the rebound to show strength before forming a bullish opinion. A rally above 0.0282 Sense will indicate the start of a new uptrend. Until then, we will recommend that traders stay on the sidelines. So Dash USD pair. Dash is currently attempting to hold the support at $129. If the bears break below this level, the next stop is $113. If this level also gives away, the slide can extend to $87. The downsloping averages and the RSI close to the oversold level shows that the bear is an upper hand and the path of least, least resistance is to the downside. However, if the bulls succeed in defending the 129 level, a rebound to the 20-day EMA followed by a move to the downtrend line is possible. We shall wait for the dash USD pair to sustain above the downtrend line before turning positive. So those are the price analysis of the top coins today. So these are um, these bought this news are bought, uh, is bought to you by Preferred Currency News and Coin Telegraph. Right. So before I go, I just want to share this uh, website. So this website is PreferredCurrency.News, where you can subscribe for fifteen dollars a month or one hundred eighty dollars a year to get notified of the latest updates on cryptocurrencies and also get the latest. Um, top coins of the day on Donald the Guru's spreadsheet. Okay, so guys, I am not a financial advisor, and I am everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself. All right. So again, this has been Vic. Thank you. See you on the next video. Bye bye.